Reading and Use of English, Part 1 The Reading and Use of English paper contains seven parts, which comprise 52 questions in total. The questions are designed to test grammar, vocabulary and reading comprehension. The total time for the reading and use of English paper is 1 hour and 15 minutes. Part 1 of the exam contains a text with 8 gaps where the word or phrase has been removed. After the text, you will find 8 corresponding multiple choice items containing possible words or phrases to fill in the 8 gaps in the text above. You will be required to choose the correct answer that best completes the text from four multiple choice options A, B, C or D. There is only one correct answer for each multiple choice item. Let's try an example together. The best answer to complete this sentence is C. Branch Genealogy is a branch of history. Part 1 focuses on control of grammar and vocabulary. Sometimes the grammatical structure of the sentence can help you find the correct answer. For example, let's look at this multiple choice item. If you only consider the meaning of the words, all the options make sense. They all express some kind of embarrassment. However, only C makes sense grammatically because of the preposition of. He felt ashamed of his inability to read. For this reason, C is the correct answer. All the other answers would need to be followed by the preposition by. Other times, knowing the exact meaning of each word is the best way to determine the correct answer. Sometimes a multiple choice item will contain similar related words that have slightly different meanings. Understanding the specific meaning of each word and how the words differ will help you choose the correct answer. For example, all the answers real, actual, authentic and true have similar meanings, but only the word authentic can also imply that something is traditional, which is why the correct answer is C. The folk dancers wore authentic costumes from their home country. Tips don't spend too much time on part one. Pay attention to the clock and leave enough time for the rest of the test. Also, keep in mind that not all questions are worth the same number of marks. In part one, each answer is worth one mark, but in parts four to six, each answer will be worth two marks instead.